Today's tutorial is how to make a simple background paper in Photoshop CS6. First of all you need to go in to File, New and then I am choosing to do mine in inches in 12 by 12 inches because that's the standard scrapbook paper size 12 by 12 but you could do this in A4 or standard US letter size now the next thing I'm doing is going to the color palette over on the left here at the bottom of the tools um, menu tools palette and I'm clicking on there which will bring up the color picker and then I'm going over and I'm moving the cursor around on the color picker to look for a colour that I want. You can also move the, the white triangles up and down on the right. Okay, so I've chosen blue and white for my colours. And the next thing that you need to do is go up to the gradient tool, which is halfway up the tools palette on the left. Click on that. and then go right up to the top and double click on where the gradient tool is and that will bring up the gradient editor so click on the um, blue to white one that we just did click on the gradient type and click noise and then take the roughness percentage up to 75 and then the colour model RGB sliders underneath, alter those to make your gradient more pastel-y. So you can see how I'm moving the sliders here, you can just experiment and have them how you want. Okay, so I've made mine quite pastel -y. And then click OK. I have slowed this down a bit in um, iMovie so that you can see easier. So then click on the horizontal gradient tool and drag across from corner to corner. And this is the effect that you get. So the next thing to do is to click on the background layer over here on the right and then go into layer and duplicate layer and then you need to go into edit transform rotate and grab the top layer by the corner handle and turn, drag and turn so you can see what's happening here just get it, make sure you get the layer straight or straightish now the next thing I'm going to do is expand this layer so that the corners that you see here underneath um, of the back layer um, are covered over by the top layer there's probably an easier way to do or a more professional way to do this but I'm not a professional I just dabble around with this so tr go to transform scale and you will get this scale box up with the handles on the side and I just click and drag or hold and drag hold and drag on either side and you can see the top layer stretching out to cover a bit more of the bottom layer I mean you don't have to do this but it just it does look better in the finished paper okay so I'm still making that bigger and then I'll just move over a bit okay so in the layers palette over on the right 
don't take any notice of the top two layers, layer layer one and layer one copy. They were mistakes and they shouldn't be here. I should have deleted them. So next go and highlight the background layer. Go to filter and then down to distort and then down to wave. And you can hit the randomize button if you don't like the way it is, but I was quite happy with that. Now you can't see anything at the moment because it's happened on the bottom layer. Once I highlight the layer that's on top, which I'm doing here now, and then go up to the opacity and bring the opacity down. You can slide that up and down and experiment, but I've brought it down to about 43, I think it is. You can see the bottom layer underneath has got the wave effect on. So now I've highlighted the top layer, which says background copy over on the layers palette on the right. I'm doing exactly the same thing. Filter, distort, wave. And I'm going to hit randomize a couple of times. and then hit OK just give it a second and you can see there that it the effect that the top layer and the bottom layer have with each other um, with the top layer set to be slightly transparent so now I am going to go in and change the colours a little bit. I have highlighted the top layer. I'm going to adjustments, hue and saturation, and I'm going to play around with these sliders. And I suggest you do the same with whatever paper you design. It's all down to personal taste, and the sky is really the limit to what you can do here. So that's all I've done, I've played around with the sliders and I'm happy with what I have there. So I click OK and I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom layer which we can see slightly through the top layer because of the opacity. So again I go into image adjustment and then down to hue and saturation and play around with the sliders this is not an exact science you can do practically whatever you want with what I'm teaching you here this is intended to make you think about what you would like to do rather than kind of copy what I've done And when you're happy with both layers, click OK, and there you have your basic background paper that could be used for digital scrapbooking. You could print it out and make stuff with the design, um, or you can make digital scrapbooking pages on on the computer with this as a background. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Come back next time and I will show you how to fill type with the image that we have just made.